guys you're welcome back to my channel how are you guys doing you're welcome back you're welcome back so today you can see i'm in my kitchen always in my kitchen <laughs> so i want to show you the struggle of a mother okay and being a youtuber and just coming back from work you can see now i'm still wearing the clothes i i want to uh, to work so now i want to show you the situation of my house now let me show you something this is vitalif as you can see the bath <laughs> This is Vitali fresh one. In fact, they brought this Vitali for me on Sunday. No, sorry, on Saturday. On Saturday, but I couldn't do much. Eh? Hmm. Fresh one, eh? Fresh bitter leaf. Then this is this one is a water leaf. My children have already helped me in doing this. Yeah, I'm going to use it for my porridge yam this evening. Then this is green. I don't know what you call it, but this is what we call. You can see the, the, the flower here. Yeah. So this is green. You can see it is also in the bath. Guys, but the one I'm having <laughs> some thoughts about is this bitter leaf. I have to wash it, guys. You see the up the you see the up now? It's already started a but do I put it outside to dry a little so that when I'm washing it, it will not just break off, okay? So look at, look at it now and I'm going to wash it. You see my struggle? I'm just coming back from work now. So I'm going to wash it. Then that is not the end. My freezer <laughs> is in a mess. Let me show you. It's in a mess. You can see? <laughs> Oh, I need to arrange these things now. In fact, you're going to help me to arrange this thing. Okay. This is this is okra they brought along with the the fresh okra. The, my children also helped me today to, to put it in order. In fact, I have not gotten enough okra. That is what I ate yesterday. That was Sunday. Today is Monday. So uh, I have not gotten a lot, but I have to <laughs> do something about this freezer if I really want to eat this okra this year. Because I used to get it, I used to buy it and store it in the freezer, use it throughout the summer and the winter. Okay, and this is the season. So I need to put this freezer. <laughs> hey, this freezer. I'm afraid of this freezer. Guys, hmm. it's still <laughs> exposed. Uh, this is the yam. I normally get my yam and store it, okay, so that it will not spoil. So I'm going to deal with this freezer so that all this stuff, even when I finish the uh, finish washing the bitter leaf, I'll be able to, you know, have a, a space for it. Okay. So this is it. Uh, no, don't worry. You will see what is inside. <laughs> A lot of them so i need to i need to really work on this freezer okay i need to really work on it so work on it you know it's not easy sometimes you just go shopping and the, you pack everything and they just leave it like that i have another freezer down here you can see it but <laughs> as family <laughs> it's not it's not enough it's not enough as a big family it's not enough so i'm going to work on this freezer now so i don't even know where to start i have figured out what i'm going to do i have asked my husband he said he want a couscous and the semolina have you done that before <laughs> so this is the semolina i'm going to put a little bit okay then Then I'll add the couscous. Look at it here. Yeah? Are you seeing the name? Couscous. Couscous. So I'm going to add two of them. Being that it's all crusted, so it's going to work well. And you wanted it light. So it's better to eat this in the afternoon. Guys, you see it. See the semolina and the couscous. 
and this is the soup this is just portion <laughs> so let me go and enjoy my food okay so this is the okra soup and this is the semolino and the couscous it's very fine the semolino will help to bind the couscous because the couscous is not a it's not binding you understand it's just like rice so this couscous it makes you not to consume a lot of you know carbohydrate so the couscous is very light and this one so let me go and enjoy okay see you guys when i'm back and i will show you what else okay everybody is going to take this because i'm not ready to cook differently this time so now everybody's going to take this this is just one portion for somebody for me okay guys i just finished eating so in order not to bend down while washing the bitter leaf you know as soon as i finished eating so I said, let me just handle this freezer. Can you just pray for me <laughs> for strength, okay? So let's go. This is the ice cream. You know, this is summer now. So ice cream is already it's always in the fridge. And this is a, a chicken a cutlet. Uh, this is a salmon fish. This is another type of fish. What is the name? Uh, spada tranche. Okay. That's the name in Italian. So let me try to organize this fridge. As you follow me, this is the okra. You can see it's small. In fact, this one is once I'm going to cook, and this one is just half pot. <laughs> so. This is, uh, what is this? This is a uh, melusa fish. This is another melusa fish. Okay. Okay, this is another okra. Okay. I have two here. Mamma mia. This is yam. Mm -hmm. This is meat. I think this is a. Uh, Red meat. This is a uh, goat meat. Yeah. Goat meat. And this is a uh, fish. I think uh, this is a. Uh, Orata. Mm, this is yam. My guys, <laughs> my fridge is in the problem. I need to organize this fridge. If not, <laughs> I can't store anything in the fridge this summer. In the freezer this summer. If uh, a butati freezer, oh, a butati. This is a meat. I think meat that I have. I need some help. So guys, how are you guys doing? I hope everyone is doing fine. Mm. I also do the same with my uh, ripe plantain. These are my ripe plantain. If I get it, you see as fresh as it is. This thing is almost more than two months now and I have it here. And it's still, it's still like this. So this is how to store things in the freezer. Especially for big family. This is the last. This is the fajolini. Oh! Let me see what is inside. This is meat, right? Meat. This is another fish. My husband loves this fish. Melissa. Melissa and the, the another fish. Another fish. So that you will not know that you have all these things. You see another fish. This is for children. Try to for them. So guys, this is pepper. As you can see. Pepper. <laughs> this is pepper. This is all the dry things for soup or curry. For this, all these things. I 
I used to name some when I have time, but now I name them. But I've already know what is inside. So this is another another one. I think this is a bitter leaf. The first one I've had before. Wow, that is easy. Hmm. I don't even know that I have this. Are you seeing it? This is so giddy, boo. Hmm. I don't think I didn't know that I still have this one. This is agreeable. Still on the in the uh, this thing that they brought for me from Nigeria. Let me see what is inside here. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> you know here. See another one. You see this one? It's just pepper. Pepper, guys. <laughs> this is pepper. I don't think I'm going to buy pepper this year again because I have enough. Yeah. It's pepper. This part again. This is a minestrone. That is mixed vegetables. We normally use it in the uh, winter period. But this time around, you can still use it somewhere. This is also my plantain, or ripe plantain. This is how I used to store it. This is this, or ripe plantain. So now I'm going to organize things. This is a strawberry. Yeah, strawberry. This is a bell pepper. This is mixed veggies for, for fried rice. And this is a... Uh, this thing, melanzani, that is garden egg. What they call it? It is a red meat. I want, to wish, I want to know what I have here so that if I'm buying things, I will know what to buy and what not to buy. Okay. This is Nigerian stuff. Uh, and this is what? Wow. See? I didn't know I still have what uh, this is frozen up I right have. Yeah. But is this year I bought it anyway? Yeah, this is the only okra I still have in this freezer before this new one. And this is the uh, uh, who is this um gum belly um, shrimps okay let me clean here okay i'll come back okay guys i want to start arranging this i'll arrange this uh, fridge in order of importance do you know what i mean that is what i'm going to use of recent okay so this uh minestrone that is mixed vegetable. I'm not going to use it for this one. This one also. I'm going to arrange it like that. I have fresh spinach now, so these frozen ones will be here first. All these uh, fresh things. So I'm going to arrange it. So I will come. You meet me when I finish arranging it, okay? And I will show you how it looks like. Wow, guys, you can see where I, I am now. <laughs> you see the space I make now before this thing was full. So I try to remove the things I'm going to use today. As I told you, I'm going to wash the bitter leaf. And the, this is one of the things I'm going to use. So I try to make it to be up. This is the ogiri. I'm going to use it. I don't know whether if I'm, do, I'm going to do the recipe of it. I have not done really uh, onubu soup, bitter leaf soup or, uh, recipe very well. The one I did before is a spinach and a bitter leaf. So, but this one is going to be raw one. Yeah. So, I try as much as possible to all the old things. I try to bring it up. Then the new ones, I put it down. The ones I know that I'm going to be using frequently. You understand? So, this okra, I'm going to use it next time. Instead of using the, this one. Okay? So, that's... I will do away with this one. So, guys, I'm through with this. Can you clap for me? Let me go for 
washing of the bitter leaf, okay? I'm true here. At least I have known what is in this freezer and know what I want. Yeah, what I needed. So, let's go. Okay, guys. Be okay for this bath. So, I'm going to, definitely, I'm going to share it into two. So, this is what I have. I have my water here. I don't want to be running up and down. So, I have the water here. And this bitter leaf is different from the ones we have in Nigeria and Africa. It's not that bitter. Okay. So, some people don't even wash it before cooking. But I like washing it. So, I have to share it. So that my hands can be able to. And remember, if you don't put this in washing it, <laughs> your nail, be ready to see black nails. Okay. I needed to put salt. So that it will have a so this is the salt I'm putting here now. So tell me if you if you have ever washed bitter leaf like this, how do you wash your own? So now I put small water to start with it. I have to watch this thing, watch it. I'll show you the final stage of it. Okay. People normally put oil, red oil, but I don't like putting it. It doesn't flow for me. Why? Because they say if you put oil, it will not break so much. But I've already put this in the sun, so it will not break so much. And also, it will not foam too much. But I like it when it is foaming. Yeah, that is the joy of it. So I will do other ones off camera so that this video will not be too long. I will show you the outcome. And I'm making the bitter leaf soup tonight. So, but I'm not going to eat it tonight. As you know, we've already taken our okra soup. So I just do it and put it in the freezer. So I have soup in the fridge, yeah, but I don't know what I'm going to do the recipe. I'm still contemplating because I've done a lot today. I don't want to overstress myself. Doing recipe always take time. Setting this, setting that. So I don't know if I will do the recipe. If I don't do it now, less time I will do. Okay. So you see, see. My sister from Belgium, Mama Jo, come on, I'm preparing a bitter leaf for you. So come and carry you. Hmm. Guys, as you can see, it's foaming too much. So I want to remove it from the water. So I have to put this red oil so that the foam will come down, okay? You can be able to hold it. This is a typical way we wash our bitter leaf, okay? I know some people doesn't wash their bitter leaf, but we that come from Anambra, yeah, in Nigeria, we wash our Onubu. So this is it. As I put the oil, the foam came down. So now I have to remove it from the water. This is the first one. Guys, you see this water? This water is very medicinal. I remember my grandma. Whenever somebody is sick, you know, have somebody something in the stomach, something like that, you just wash this first water. Yeah, you wash the first water and give it to the person. The stomach pains, um, we just cease. It's very, very, very medicinal. Hmm? Very, very medicinal. So, and uh, even for children, it's good, children that's having a 
I don't know what they call it in English, in fact. Uh, jadi, jadi, all those things. This water is very good. My grandmother used to do it, used to give it to people to drink. Yeah. And also the the water that came out from a scent leaf. Nchong. Two of them. It's very, very, very medicinal. So, even somebody that have diabetes, all those things, if you are drinking this water, hmm, your sugar level will just come down. It's as it is now. It's as it is. Just be drinking it. It's very, very nice. Hmm. Though it's bitter, but it's very good. Very medicinal. Guys, this is the second one. You can see the water is still, is still dark. So I'm going to remove it. Mm -hmm. Guys, hmm. I'm coming to the end of this vlog. As you can see, I am sweating. <laughs> I am sweating. I've done the first part of the bitter leaf. And the, the second one, my daughters will do it because I've taught them how to do it several times. So they're going to do the remaining one. So now I want to dive into cooking the soup. Let me show you the, the bitter leaf. So this is the beta leaf. Look at it here now. You can see it. Yes. If we show it now, it's very, very good now. Yeah. Very, very good now. So, and it doesn't so much go into pieces. It still have that long, long uh, distance. So, very nice. So I'm going to start making the soup now. Guys, I've done a lot in this video. If you're watching up to this period, you have not subscribed. Subscribe, eh? It's free. It's free. Free of charge. Subscribe and leave your notification bell on so that anytime I upload a video, you'll be able to see it. I hope you're not seeing the bitter leaf in my mouth because I've been eating it for a very long time. I've been eating, eating, eating. <laughs> so I hope you're not seeing it. Ciao. Bye. Shalom.